today we're going to be doing some anchors starting from the most basic one a bolted anchor moving on into a natural anchor and finally doing an alpine anchor this is the most common anchor you're going to find in the climbing world uh, it's made out of bolts that are pre-drilled into the rock and they're pretty secure the first thing to look about them is to make sure that they don't have any rust in the actual bolt and that they are pretty solid. This one doesn't move at all, so I know they're solid. Now we need to get a sling. In this case, we're using an alpine draw. You just clip both of the carabiners to the end of the chain and then we need to create a self-equalized anchor by doing a twist like this. Then you just pass the carabiner through, through the loop and the other sling and lock it. The twist is just in case of one of the points failing. If one of them fails, you'll still be attached to the other one. Now we have a self-equalized anchor for belaying someone or setting a top rope. Now we're gonna do a natural anchor made out of cams. Here we have a nice crack for it. And for natural anchors, you'd need, you need at least three pieces of protection. For putting a cam, you need to focus on the range. It needs to be between 40 and 70% of the range of the cam. That way, the cam will be on the strongest. The next thing is to put the cam in the direction of pull. In this case, the weight is going to come from downward. We place the second one the same. And same with the third one. Now we need a really long sling. We'll clip the sling in the three pieces of protection, starting with the top one, then the lower one, and finally the middle one. Now we'll be able to figure out the direction of pull. Once we have the direction of pull, we just need to tie an overhang knot. This is in case if any of the protections fail, the master point will stay in the same place. Now you just put a locking carabiner and your anchor is ready. We're going to be doing an alpine anchor. This anchor can be used in extreme scenarios when you have to bail from a route because of bad weather or when you're doing a first ascent. We'll be using three pieces of protection. We'll be using a number two copperhead, a number three boogaboo python, and a number one pecker. The first thing you need to do is to warm up the head by hitting it in the rock like this. Then you need to find a restriction in the rock where the copper head is gonna enter. This is a really good placement because it stays like a stopper already. I'm gonna be using a boogaboo python to get the copper head in place. Um, you can use any other metal material to get it in, such as a knot tool or something else. Once the copper head is in place, you just need to hit it a couple times to mold it in the rock. Try not to hit it too hard because you can damage the cable. Perfect. Next we're gonna place the bug up python. You need to look for a little crack where it's gonna enter, like this one. For putting the bugaboo python, you need to focus on the sound. It needs to get stronger as the python gets in. That way you know that it's a strong placement. Now we're gonna put the pecker in. It has a hook so you need to look for a restriction in the rock for it. And it's also really small so you'll need to find a small crack like this one for it. Once you put it in, you need to, you need to make sure that it's not going anywhere by pulling down or, or the direction of pull. This one's pretty good there. I'm just gonna hit it a couple times to make sure. The next thing, as with the natural anchor, is to grab a really long sling and place it in every piece of protection. Now we're gonna figure out the direction of pull and tie an overhang knot, like this. And now your anchor is ready for belaying, holding some gear or rappelling off a route. 